Today I'm going to tell you about the uh, hybrid trailer. In our earlier segment we talked about uh, tent trailers and the new tent on wheels. This is a nice combination of both. It has the security of the hard body but also the extra space using the slide outs like the pop-ups have. It has a couch and kitchen and upgraded amenities. Come on in. This beauty right here is a fifth wheel. Uh, all the same amenities as a travel trailer. Uh, they do have uh, a big difference in that the way that you pull it. In a trailer you're pulling with a hitch on your bumper. With the fifth wheel you have a hitch in the bed of your truck, your tow vehicle. So the attachment goes, the nose goes over the bed of the truck and attaches to the hitch in the bed of the truck. It is uh, much more secure and feels more like you're driving a regular vehicle. It doesn't have the sway that many of the travel trailers would have. So very nice unit. And they come in many different lengths as well. Probably start about 24 feet and go up to about 38, perhaps 40 feet. So this is another fifth wheel model. We really liked the floor plan. We really like that it's uh, about 30 feet so it can get into most of the parks that we have to go to. We like this one so much, we bought it. So here is our first The next category we are talking about is the Class C Motorhome. Uh, it is a truck in its own right. The chassis has the living area built around it. The advantages to the Class C Motorhome are, is that uh, you don't have to have a separate power source. The truck carries you where you need to go. You do have often over the cab sleeping area. and also move about the cabin while you're moving down the road. In the Class C, you don't have to have a separate truck, but some people do like to have an extra tow vehicle, a smaller uh, car that they can move about and do sightseeing rather than having to move their vehicle from their campsite. Class C motorhomes start at about 24 feet in length. They can go up to around 32 feet in length. Uh, once you get beyond 32, 34, then you probably want to look at a diesel engine, which is another option. This is an example of the diesel engine class C motor. This is a Duramax diesel. It has a heavy duty power. It can take a much longer lengths and usually have more luxurious amenities. The price tag is also a little more, as you might expect. This is the inside of the Class C diesel unit. With your ba uh, master bedroom to the rear.
extra sleeping capacity above the cab. And the dinette area also makes into a bed. Another category that we wanted to show you is um, in both fifth wheel and in trailers, there's toy haulers. Toy haulers are extremely popular because we notice over here, there's a bunch of trailer, trailer versions of toy haulers. There's five of them lined up here, six of them lined up here with sold stickers on. So they're, they're selling really fast. Take the levers off, these fold down, they go all the way to the ground so you can bring your uh, uh, ATV or motorcycles in. But they can also go flat and make a platform which is just like a lanai if you're from Hawaii. The last category we want to talk about today is the Class A motorhome. Class A's come in both gas version and diesel version, just like the Class C's do. The Class A is uh, nice in that you can move about the cabin inside. They have all the same amenities, usually on a little more upscale version. Some models in the newer ones have a sleeping area that comes down from over the cab. It's electric generally, and that's a very nice feature to add to. This particular unit is one of the smaller ones. It's 30 feet, and that will get you into the national parks. Class A's do go up to 45, 48 feet, I believe. So, good entry level length.